Hello and welcome to another day of classes. Today we're gonna continue with the second part of the unit 2 from the intro book, level 1, the red book. And if you remember, yes, uh, the last video we were talking about uh, the simple present WH questions and the statements and how to make them and to always remind you that if it's he, she or it, we use the verb with a S or this rule but if it's I, you, or anything in plural, you leave the the verb in the same time, in the same form. You don't change it. And I hope that you remember that. But for today, we're gonna uh, continue with this conversation. I work in the afternoon, and it's a conversation between Christina and a taxi driver. But uh, before reading the conversation, I want you to look at these two questions and try to get the answer for them what time does Christina usually start work and what time does Christina eat dinner okay so let's listen to the conversation first and try to get the answer to these two page 11 exercise 7 conversation I work in the afternoon. Part A. Listen and practice. I need to go to National Bank downtown, please. I'm late for a meeting. No problem. What time is your meeting? In 10 minutes. I don't usually work in the morning. Really? What time do you usually go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start at 1. That's pretty late. Do you like to work in the afternoon? Yes, I do. I work better in the afternoon. I finish at 7 or 8, then I go home and eat dinner at around 10.30. Wow, you have dinner late. I go to bed every night at 8 o'clock. Really? That seems so early. Okay, very good. Remember, if you want to listen again, just go back on the video. But let's check the answers for this too. What time does Christina usually start work? Well, she says that is in the afternoon, so we can say at 1 in the afternoon. And what time does Christina eat dinner? Well, she eats dinner at 10.30 p.m. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Let's read one more time. Uh, let's listen to the conversation one more time, but this time we will have the opportunity to read what's happening here. Excuse me for a second. Let me get this straight. Very good. Okay, let's listen one more time. This time, read the text. Page 11. Exercise 7. Conversation. I work in the afternoon. Part A. Listen and practice. I need to go to National Bank downtown, please. I'm late for a meeting. No problem. What time is your meeting? In 10 minutes. I don't usually work in the morning. Really? What time do you usually go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start at 1. That's pretty late. Do you like to work in the afternoon? Yes, I do. I work better in the afternoon. I finish at 7 or 8, then I go home and eat dinner at around 10.30. Wow, you have dinner late. I go to bed every night at 8 o'clock. Really? That seems so early. Very good. Let's continue now. Listen to the second part or the rest of the conversation. And let's try to get at what time does the taxi driver start work? What time do he, does he finish? Because if he goes to sleep at 8 o'clock at night, let's say what time does he wake up. Okay? Let's listen and pay attention to that. Page 11, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What time does the taxi driver start work? What time does he finish? If you go to sleep at 8, what time do you wake up? Pretty early. I start work at 4 in the morning. 4 in the morning? Wow. What's your typical day like? Well, I get up at 3 a.m. Then I drive from 4 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. That's a long day. Yes, 
but I like it. I talk to people from all over the world and see many beautiful parts of the city. That's nice. I only see the National Bank. Whoa, that is really, really, really interesting how early he, and surprising how early he wakes up. But did you get it? What time does the taxi driver start work? If you remember, he starts the work at 4 in the morning. And he finishes at 2 in the afternoon. He has a really interesting lifestyle. Very good. Let's continue. Now, let's see this part of the pronunciation with the syllable stress of some words. You know, each word has a specific type of pronunciation or also known as syllable stress. It's not the same as saying dancer than dancer. If you say dancer, that is incorrect. Oh, sail, we have salesperson, salesperson, it's incorrect. Or accountant, or it's accountant, salesperson. You know, there is a different way to put all of these, to, to pronounce each one of them. And you need to remember what is the correct pronunciation for each one of them. But let's listen one more time, okay? Let's notice the syllable stress in these words. Page 11. Exercise. Exercise 8. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Dancer. Salesperson. Accountant. Do you notice? Dancer. Dancer. Salesperson. Salesperson. Accountant. Accountant. Each one of them have a different type of syllable stress and each syllable is different in here. Okay? So now let's listen to these other words and take your time to put it in the correct uh, type of syllable stress like if it starts like this or if it sounds like salesperson or sounds like accountant okay take your time listen as much times as you need and then let's check the answer okay so let's listen page 11 exercise 8 part b which stress pattern do these words have add them to the columns in part a then listen and check Carpenter, musician, firefighter, reporter, server, tutor. Very good. Remember, if you want to listen again, just go back in the video. But let's check the answers, okay? Let's see. We have dancer, server and tutor or tutor we have salesperson carpenter or carpenter we have firefighter we have accountant musician and reporter did you get everything correct very good okay let's continue with the grammar for today that it's gonna be the time expressions okay before going with this, I want to show you some other material about when we usually use the time expressions in the simple present tense. These are some time expressions of simple pres on the present of simple tense. We have, for example, every day or month or every month, every year. These are some kind of expressions, time expressions that you mention. When you say every, it means each one, everything. Every day, every month, every year. Okay? We have once a day. Once, it's like one time. Only happens one time. Okay? Once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year. For example, you can say that you have breakfast once a day. Okay? Maybe you go to the park once a week 
maybe you go to the cinema once a month and maybe you go to the beach once a year okay these are different time expressions twice is the same but for two times once one time twice two times and it's the same twice a day you may uh, bathe twice a day and you may play basketball twice a week etc etc and we have only that for once and twice we have once that is one time twice two times and then we say three times four times five times six times one million times etc okay and it's the same three times a week five times a week six times a month seven times a year eight times a day a day for example you can say that you eat a meal three times a day that's an example when we have in we usually use in for in times of the day like in the morning in the evening in the afternoon and we also use it for months like in July in August in December in October etc for at we use it for night specifically we have for example in the morning in the evening or in the afternoon and we have at night okay we have also times uh, sometimes expressions uh, that are this adverse of frequency the adverse of frequency are time expressions always usually often seldom sometimes rarely never and all of the um, uh, adverbs of frequency actually we also have today that is another time expression and for the days of the week we use on on Monday on Thursday on Friday on Saturday etc okay now let's see to the grammar part here we have some examples of using the time expressions we can say I get up I leave work I go to bed I get home I stay up I exercise I wake up all of these are activities but now with the time expressions we can say or specify the time that we do this and how 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 for example I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning on weekdays that are the days of the week like on Fridays on Saturdays on Thursdays etc we have I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays early it means that you're not late It's like for example early I leave work early in the afternoon it can be one in the afternoon two in the afternoon because it's early in the afternoon I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknights weeknights are the nights of the week the night of the Saturday of the Thursday the night of the well, Monday the night of uh, Wednesday etc and we say around 11 it means that is maybe 11 5 11 10 10 50 10 45 10 55 is around near to the hour 11 maybe a couple of minutes before or a couple of minutes after we have I get home late at night on weekends weekends is the end of the week it means Friday Saturday and Sunday and you know late is the opposite of early when you it's later or more time than the usual I just stay up until midnight on Fridays until means all the moments and stops there for example I stay up that person is continuing continuously uh, awake, uh, awake until midnight it means that at midnight he goes to sleep it finishes when this time gets that's what until means on Fridays I exercise before noon on Saturday you know before in the past and it's before noon so he exercises in the morning 10 in the morning 11 in the morning in the morning and then when get it's when it gets to noon he finishes because it's before noon and the same for after is just past you know past uh, past it or in the future afternoon I wake up afternoon for example he wakes up oh that there's where it comes from we have noon 
afternoon is because it's after the noon, that is the 12 p.m. Okay, and we have different times, uh, expressions to say the clock time, you know, 7 o'clock. At the 7, this is used the uh, digital number, 7, 7 o'clock to specify that we have no minutes. 7 a.m. it's equals to 7 in the morning and 7 p.m. equals to 7 in the evening. Okay, I hope that you understand this part. And let's try to do this exercise real quick. You, you, whoa, 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 whoa. you just need to choose the correct word in each one of these situations. Okay, take your time to finish it and we will continue to see the answers. Very good, I hope that you finished. Let's check. Number one, I get up at six on weekdays. Very good. Number two, I have lunch at 11.30 on Mondays. Very good. Number three, I have a snack around 10 at night. Very good. Number four, on Fridays, I leave school early. Very good. Number five, I stay up until 1 a.m. on weekends. Very good. Number six, I sleep around, or I sleep until noon on Sundays. Very good. Number seven, I have dinner at seven on weeknights. Very good. I read a book before I go to sleep because if you read a book after you go to sleep that will be weird okay number nine on weekends I go to bed at 1 a.m. in the morning on Thursdays I leave work at 9 p.m. very good number 11 I work late on Wednesdays and the last one, I study until 11 after dinner. Very good, very good. Now we're gonna be having a listening activity. We're gonna be listening to around Madison and Kyla talk about their daily schedules. And you need to complete the chart with the current information. What are their jobs? What time do they get up? And what time do they get home? And what time do they go to sleep? Okay? So let's listen and then put, check the answers. Page 12, exercise 10, listening. What hours do you work? Part A, listen to Aaron, Madison, and Kayla talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Aaron? I'm a carpenter. Oh, yeah? So, what hours do you work? I work eight hours a day, from Monday to Friday. I get up around 6 a.m., and I work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. I get home pretty early, about 4 p.m. I go to bed at 10. And what do you do, Madison? Well, I'm an accountant. It's a regular 9-to-5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Kayla? Well, my hours are a bit different. I'm a nurse. I start work at 11 at night. I work until 7 a.m. Wow, so what time do you get up? I get home at 8 and go to bed at about 8.30, and I sleep until 4 p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know, I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. Okay, very good. Now let's check the answers that you got. Remember, if you want to listen again, just go back in the video. Okay, let's check. Well, we have that the job of Aaron is uh, that he is a carpenter. He gets up at 6 a.m. in the morning. He gets home at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And he goes to bed at 10 p.m. If you have this, you're correct. Next one, we have Madison, that she is an accountant. 
She gets up at 7 a.m. in the morning. She gets home at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. And she goes to bed at midnight, 12 a.m. And we, for, lastly, we have Kyla, that is a nurse. She gets up at 4 in the afternoon. She gets home at 8 a.m. And she goes to bed at 8.30 a.m. That's in the morning. So she have an upside down schedule, basically. Okay, very good. People, for the last part, we're gonna be having a reading here about different and odd jobs, okay? We're gonna be seeing uh, the reading called My Parents Don't Understand My Job and we have uh, Danny, Carla, Nick and Lisa. You're gonna be listen, uh, reading this part. You can stop the video and read it here or look at it on the digital version of the book. Then complete this part here and we're gonna check the answers. You finished? Very good. Okay, let's check. Oh. Let's see. Read the article who does the following things. Check the correct boxes. Who does something to help people get fit? Oh, that is Lisa. Who does something to understand other people? Oh, that is Nico. Who does something to make things you can wear? That is Carla. And who does something to tell other people about their company? That is Danny. I hope that you like the class for today. And see you next time with the unit 3 of the student's book of the intro level 1. Okay? Until, until next time. Bye.